Hello and welcome to the Craft Beer Corner. For today's beer review, we're jumping into a peanut butter flavored stout from Central Coast Brewing Company. This beer is called Peanut Butter Breakdown, clocks in at 6.4% ABV. Central Coast Brewing is based in San Luis Obispo, California. So I am pretty sure this is the first beer I reviewed from Central Coast. But what I do know about it, because Tavor did make a point to mention this, you'll notice that this very much looks branded like Skippy peanut butter. And uh, there's a reason for that. It even has Skippy in uh, with their logo up on the side. Um, this brewer wanted to use their branding and they were die hard on it that it had to be brewed with Skippy peanut butter. So they let the board, uh, the president, CEO, people on the board of Skippy sample the beer when they brewed it and they loved it so much that they didn't even hesitate. They gave them full rights to use their actual Skippy corporate branding. So yes, this was brewed with Skippy peanut butter. And when a big corporation like that gives you the approval, you know you did something right. So I'm expecting this is gonna be absolutely delicious. Peanut butter breakdown, 6.4% ABV. Let's get this one cracked. Right in the old stout glass here. This poured gently. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty dark. 6.4, it's not an Imperial, but all right, that is not having a trouble forming a head at all. So I'm gonna slow that down though. It is already kind of collapsing from the bottom almost as quickly as I'm pouring this. So it, it is quite active in terms of carbonation. I can see that in the beer quite clearly. That's all right, we can top this off at the end. Uh, visually, it may not be an Imperial, but I'm telling you that is absolutely pitch black. There's not a hint of light getting through this at all. I am surprised by that. That's a true pitch black on just a normal stout, non-imperial. So yeah, it did form a pretty nice head here. It is pretty active in terms of carbonation. I know the camera can't pick this up, but I can see it clinging on the sides of the glass. It's got pretty quick activity moving, a mix of small and larger bubbles. So I do expect this effervescence is over time gonna kind of collapse this head a bit. Um, since that settled down just a little, I'm gonna pour this gently to get it up to the bottom of that tulip, all right? Looks good. Now let's get over this for a good sniff. Oh man, okay. Yeah, there's zero doubt about it. That smells very strongly of peanuts and peanut butter. Um, the aroma on this actually reminds me of Oh, one of the very first beers I've reviewed on this channel, I believe the name of the brewer was Anapi Breweries. PB Hobo was the name of the beer. To this date, still the best peanut, peanut butter beer I've ever had. I mean, it was just peanut, peanut butter forward. That's, this smells like that. And that really kind of gets me excited for what I may be in for here. Um, head settled down, now it's got a nice little pad on top. Look, it smells great, guys. It looks fantastic. Beautiful head, wonderful aroma. Let's just jump in and see what this is about with Skippy Corporate's blessing. Oh man, okay, yeah. Okay, so the parallels I drew with that beer that I reviewed several hundred reviews ago, it was like literally in the first three or four reviews I ever did. Um, but I remember that beer to this day. That's how big of an impression it made on me. This is along that same line. This is easily one of the best peanut peanut butter beers I've ever had, and it's for the same reason. You know when you smell it, what you're about to get into, that they've done something special and as soon as you swallow, it just hits you. This is big, bold peanut, peanut butter flavor. It is in your face, and it's on the backbone of a nice roasty stout. Now this is not Imperial. We already noticed that it was absolutely pitch black. That means there's a lot of malt in there and very deep roast at that to pull that level of dark. It's very roasty. So you're getting these really roasty undercurrents that are pairing with the roastiness of the natural peanut that's in the Skippy peanut butter. And it just tastes absolutely fantastic. What a beautiful and perfect pairing. 
very peanut peanut butter forward. I mean, it is extremely dominant. But yes, you can still pick out this delicious malt bill upon which the beer is based. And it is very, very roasty indeed. Very, very roasty. So this is one of those just big, bold, pungent peanut, pun peanut, peanut butter beers. There's no punches being pulled about it. That's what it is. That's why it exists. That's why uh, Skippy gave them the rights to use the branding because it, it's exactly as advertised. I mean, this is just spot on. This is another one of those benchmark for peanut peanut butter beers uh, that's going to last many years down the road, I am sure of it. Um, so without uh, fawning all over this beer, let's be a little more critical. Um, I was really blown away by the intensity of the peanut peanut butter. I got a little distracted, so I am going to have to jump back in here for a second sip, pick apart the body and the mouthfeel. Uh, we'll talk anything that I left out on the flavor and the finish which I can already tell you is quite long, but I'll get more specific. So take two, absolutely delicious. Yeah, buddy, on this feels a nice full round medium. Feels right for 6.4. On um, mouthfeel, same thing. It's got the right amount of resistance for this ABV, for this style. It's not super thick, but it's got enough resistance to where you can feel it. And it feels about six to 7% ABV resistance level. So it feels about right to me, um, texturally. When you swallow, it's just this intensity of peanut and peanut butter. There is a slight suggestion of sweetness that comes right up front and really makes kind of the peanut side taste more peanut buttery side. And then as the roasty edge from the malt bill kind of combines, um, that's where the more roasted peanut edge of the peanut butter side comes into play, really binds to this malt bill. It's very roasty. It's very dark, it's very roasty. Almost surprisingly so for just 6.4% ABV on a standard stout, but it's exceptionally well done. Very, very well balanced beer right here, to be certain. Very well balanced indeed. Um, the flavor, combination of flavors, the right malt ingredients and the right balance of the ingredients, plus whatever hops they used, it's nice. And yeah, there's a little bit of bitters that typically happens in these uh, peanut peanut butter stouts that are used with roasted peanuts. If it has no lactose, you're gonna get a little bitters. There's some naturally inherent in the ingredients. It's quite nice. It's extremely well balanced. In terms of the flavor profile, I mean, everything I got on first sip just got re-intensified on second sip, and it's equally, equally as enjoyable. So let's talk about this finish. Um, the finish on this one is way longer than you would perhaps expect of a 6.4% stout. That's not, you know, it's not imperial, it's not barrel aged, but the intensity of this Skippy peanut butter in this beer is, is just so pronounced that yeah, it really does linger on the palate, and it's a very intense peanut peanut butter flavor um, in tandem with, with roast that's coming both from the peanuts, peanut butter, and from the malt bill. So we're just talking layers stacked of these rich intensity notes that are giving a lot of mileage on each sip and absolutely working beautifully together in this beer. I gotta say, this is absolutely delicious. I was hoping it would live up to the hype and the expectation when I was reading about it, and it absolutely did. This is just a tremendous peanut butter stout. I am a massive, massive fan. I'm going to take my time, sip on this one, count my scores. When we come back, we'll get this beer ranked from top to bottom. All right, now that we've gotten to enjoy this beer, we're going to get it ranked. This was Central Coast Brewing Company's Peanut Butter Breakdown, a stout clocking in at 6.4% ABV that was brewed with Skippy Peanut Butter. Central Coast Brewing is based in San Luis Obispo, California. So this was uh, a beer that came very close to a perfect score in all categories. Indeed, there was only one category where it did not get a perfect score and it only missed it by just a hair, and that was the head of the retention. This one did a really, really nice job, but it didn't quite have the staying power uh, to hit that top tier mark, but it only lost one point. So head and, head and retention does get a nine out of 10. 
It did get a perfect 10 out of 10 in all remaining categories. That's aroma, taste, body, mouthfeel, finish, appearance, balance, feeling in the intangible, my subjective thoughts, and the example of this style. So that does, of course, bring the total score on Central Coast Brewing Company's Peanut Butter Breakdown to a 99 out of 100. Uh, this is one of these amazing peanut, peanut butter, stouts, beers uh, of any style that is going to stick with me for a very long time. Um, the last time I had a beer like this uh, that was this good has been a few years ago now, and I still remember that one as clearly as though it were yesterday. Um, you get a really well done peanut butter, peanut butter beer, peanut beer. Uh, it's, it's just an absolute treat, and this was just about as good as it gets. I absolutely recommend this to them. I understand why they got the blessing from Skippy's Corporate to use their branding. Absolutely phenomenal beer. If you like uh, peanut butter beers, this is one you definitely do not want to miss. Folks, that's today's review. As always, I do sincerely appreciate you tuning in today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to stay in the loop when our videos go live, just turn on your notifications, hit the bell icon. It's right next to the subscribe button. Until next time, keep it beer, keep it craft. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.